That is an absolutely beautiful intro song. And it's really good. Anyways, hello everybody, my name is Cam the Man, and welcome to A Bird Story. It is made by the same people that made To the Moon, which I haven't, I, I haven't played it myself, but I watched Markiplier play it. And uh, this is made by the same company, so I thought this would be a really good game to play. And I saw a lot of good reviews on it, so I say to get into the game. Now, different to what I how I used to play it, I used to play sort of how I felt I sh should play it, but now I think I'm going to start playing the games how I feel I would play them, so it's probably going to be a lot calmer. My phone went off, I'm sorry if you could hear that. And, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a bit of a calmer let's play. I don't really know if I'm on the camera right now, because a bird story apparently would not get picked up by a game capture mode on Handicam, so I have to pay it, play it in full screen recording mode, so let's see how that goes. Hello, it's your name. Why are you searching in a tree? Oh, look at all the little birdies. You know, this guy, he he's really living it up. He's up in a penthouse. I wish I was him. Did you find what you need? Paper airplane. Why would you have a paper airplane up in a tree? Anyways. So incredible. Time for bed. Oh, no, never mind. This is gonna be like me staying up early. Oh, wait, no. I thought that was a computer, but it was a book. Silly me. Alright, I guess it is time for bed. I mean, it is. It's only 11.05. Well, not here. It's like 4 in the afternoon for me. This guy, it's only 11.05. I don't remember. Don't go to don't go to bed until much later than that. But anyways, oh, and uh, this is actually my first video recording it in my new setup, where it's a new room, new computer, new camera, new microphone, new everything, even possibly a new feeling for my let's plays. Oh, is this my dreamland? Oh, cool. Whoa, 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 what's happening? Uh, am I going backwards? Oh, oh. Am I going backwards in my mind? To like an earlier memory or something? That's a really interesting concept. Kind of makes you think of uh, the beginner's guide. Oh, it's building a. Is that a bridge? I think it's a bridge. <gasps> it's a paper airplane! Oh, is this gonna be like the same significance like the bird? That's not how paper airplanes worked. What? Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I really shouldn't be questioning it. Oh, that's creepy. I don't know why, but that's really creepy looking to me. Alright, can I read this sign? No? Nothing? Alright, let's keep going. Oh, I hate all the lights are turning off. But, is does the paper airplane have, like, the same significance as the paper bunnies into the moon? I'm in school now. Well, that's the last place I'd probably want to go to in my, in my dreams. Because literally nothing good happens at school in your dreams. Sometimes good stuff can happen in real life, though. Just depends on uh, how you react to different things, really. Alright, little Billy, let's get going. You, you have the most boring dream in the world right now. You're at school reading your book. 
Oh, you're tearing out the pages! Yeah, what a rebel. I'm totally metal. I think he's ripping out the pages anyway, at least. Oh, he's daydreaming little squirrels. <sighs> he has so much AD. Oh, he's not dreaming. He's looking out the window. <sighs> Never mind. It's hard to tell with these top overviews. Whoa! Easy there, buddy boy. Yo, I, I didn't. I swear, to, I swear to God. I swear to God. I did not throw it. I swear to you. Do you hear me? I'm swearing to you. I did not throw that. The square root of 1,764 is not a cat. Just saying, just saying. I don't totally know what it is, but I know it's not a- no, I didn't throw it! Why are you kicking me out? I didn't throw it! Oh, that's it, I'm going home. How do I go home? What? Why are you coming back? You just kicked me out! Oh, she wants me to just sit outside the classroom. I see. Like a loser. <gasps> oh, there's my butter boys. Oh, thought it was like my friends or something. But nope, they all just ignore me. I'm that loser kid just sitting at school with my backpack in the middle of the hallway. I'm that kid that puts in their earbuds as they sit there and like don't listen to anything else because I don't know. Let's go this way. I don't want to go with the crowd. No, no, I want to go home. I don't want to go with them. No. <laughs> Fine, I'll go with him. What? I'm sorry! What else do you want me to do? Yeah, that's right. You don't know where I'm at. You don't know where I'm at. He doesn't even know where he's at. I don't even know where I'm at. What am I saying? The teacher probably would know better than I do. Is that a tree in the middle of the school? I'm still confused as to whether or not this is the kid's dream still, because he had the most boring dream in the world. Oh, uh, this would be such a cool school. I just, I just not thought of this as it was like, you know, imagining it. I'm gonna avoid myself for a second to look at some of the other scenery, like this beautiful, beautiful, n nicely placed garbage can. It really, you know, ties together the scenery, makes it all feel really nicely held together. Things like that. Oh, it's getting dark. Getting dark. Apparently, I don't remember anything else besides the, uh, the playground. But regardless, that would be such a cool school, des school design where it's like. You'd probably have to do it somewhere where it's not as... Well, I can make him disappear if I walk through him! Sweet! That's right, I'm making him disappear forever. Ew. Ooh, I took this guy's place. But it'd be such a... I'm trying to get my thought out here. It'd be such a cool idea to have a school that's... Like, connected to the outdoors. Like, it's just one flowing thing, or it has, like, trees growing inside of it. That'd be so cool. Why, why, why did you get off? I was just down there. Well, that's a load of horse crap. Hmm. Can I use a slide? I want to use a slide. I'm next in line. I call. I called it. I called it. Wow. I can't even. This is how much my uh, I don't know, like fourth grade education has has taught me so far. I'm not able to get on a slide yet. But uh, I can easily sit on and get off of a teeter totter. What was my point in coming out here? I don't see anything else. Oh, okay, okay. I'm supposed to go down this path now, the one that I was investigating earlier, but apparently couldn't go down. So now I remember it? Okay. Okay. This is a very beautiful game, though. Like, for, for how much silliness I'm talking about it. This is, like, even just this far, I'm a little bit prejudiced because I loved To the Moon. Didn't play it for video, but I, I watched it, and I actually have it in my library. But it's just such a... RPG games, I don't know, there's just something cool about the simplicity of it that kind of makes you just enjoy it even more for what it is. Like, I mean, you know, it's just a 2D surface, and a lot of people think that doesn't do a whole lot, but it really can. Sometimes, the, it, it really, it's all depending on who made it as to the quality of what you're making. What do I do here? I'm stuck! Help! Oh. I guess I'm not stuck, okay. Oh, I have to press space, okay. You couldn't have done that yourself? Wow, what a jerk. <sighs> yeah, that's right, you step away. I think it's creepy. You can't even see his face, he's hiding his- He's hiding his entire body in the shadows. That's how you know they're a real pedophile. They had their entire body in the shadows. Now, this is my apartment. 
For a minute there, I thought it was because I thought the. Li Ooh, what is that? Ew! There's mice in my apartment building. That's disgusting. Is this my room? Because it's well lit, and the rest of the hallway is darkness. I think so. I think so. Actually, a pretty nice looking apartment. Let's let's take a little adventure in my apartment. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna paint a little happy little tree here. Oh, we left a note. Was it my mama? Was it my mama? It was probably my mama. What? I can't read it. Nobody could have read that. I, you know, I bet you yeah, you guys couldn't have read that. Goodness me. Oh, I can walk around now. Okay. Alright, let's take a look around my apartment. I have a nice little armchair. Uh, radio. Ooh, I got a big bass subwoofer amplifier there. Whatever it's called. We got a nice little two, two setting stove, a nice little lamp. I'm gonna clock this into around five million dollars. So I'll take the start. That, that'll be the starting bid. Oh, is it? What's on my bed? I'll bet you it is. Can I take a nap? I cannot take a nap. Which is really unfortunate because you were just out here. Why are you peeking your head out? What? Oh, <laughs> you wanted to jump on his bed or on your parents' bed. That's cute. I used to do that, but then I got older and sadder. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not sad. Oh, this is the same room I was in before. <laughs> but the Why was he throwing a paper airplane? Use his backpack. I don't even take my bike my backpack to school. I just take all my books, leave them in the car and never use them because they don't ever give me homework. So I need my Why would I set my backpack down? What? My big question is why would I set it down there as opposed to directly next to the book where I'm clearly going to be studying from? Whoa! Let's go push him off the edge! That was me. Oh man! Oh man! What am I doing now? Oh! I thought there was going to be, I don't know, like a little bit of dialogue or something there. Or monologue, I guess, because he doesn't have anybody else to talk to. Oh, man. That looks tasty. That shiny thing on the door. Mm, just want to just wanna rub it on my face and then just, just, just eat it. Just eat all of the sparkle. Don't even want to look at it. I just want to eat it. Oh, that was a TV. I thought that was like a weird table. Is that your mom? Or is it me? Because it kind of looks like me, but... Oh. oh, gosh. Actually, I'm tired. It's only it's like 4 in the afternoon, too. Hmm. There hasn't been a single line of dialogue yet, but it's already a pretty interesting story. Huh. Well, it's about 6 in this game now. Am I done? Why? Oh, I'm making a paper thing. I was about to ask why in the world I would rip papers out of my back, my book. I already got in trouble. I already got in trouble for one at school. Why would I make one at home? That just bring back horrible memories of getting kicked out. Whoop out! Just punch out your parents' eyeballs as they're walking in the door. Then when he goes into one eyeball, it's just gonna go around in there. And because your parents' head is so empty from them being so dumb, it's gonna fly around, do a quadruple barrel roll and a triple flip in their brains before popping out the other eyeball. And then you're gonna have blind, stupid parents. And you're gonna have to take care of them with your fourth grade education. Look at what throwing a paper airplane's got you. I don't even know what your name is. Can I move yet? No, but I'm gonna take another little sippy of water. Oh, when in doubt, Pinky's out. That was a good story so far. Not a single word of dialogue. Just a teacher getting angry at me. Wait a minute, this was a dream the whole time, wasn't it? If I remember correctly, this was all just a dream, and I, I think uh, that green guy from Ghostbusters just crawled up his butt. <laughs> I 
Oh, dude, that was a nice shot. High five. You fell asleep at your desk, man. Oh, is it a cape? Oh, looked like a living thing. Who put it on you? That's my big question. And my other big question is, am I still dreaming? Because I was dreaming at the school, and then I walked home. I literally never left the dream world. I just walked more and more through it. Where are my parents? Look, they're gone again. Gotta get your teeth nice and tasty clean. All right. So, oh, I didn't even realize that was the door to the bathroom. Wow. That's really weird design, is having the toilet directly next to the door. Normally it would be like, the to the sink, no, no, the, the bathtub where the toilet would be, then a, then a lamp, which I, I've never seen a lamp in a bathroom either. Excuse me. Then the toilet. No, I need to go get that note. And then the sink. That's, I don't know. This is a really weird order. Oh, I need my cape. Sorry. I guess I'm not allowed to read without my cape. I call it, you know, a lot of people have a need, they need reading glasses. I actually need a reading cape. Can I grab it from here? I want my cape. What? Can I just not like not wear it anymore? Is, is this, it's like, is it just like staring me in the face and I can't figure it out? Oh, it was my backpack. Oh. Why didn't you just grab it when you went to the bathroom and just carry it with you? Do I need my book now? Yeah, I do. Oh my gosh. This kid is clearly obsessed with throwing paper airplanes. Oh, do I have more food in that fridge that suddenly appeared there? I want a few more sparkles to shove down my throat. Get it nice and clean. Whoa, it's a giant pie! Wait, do I have like a food counter though? Am I still in the dream? That's my big question! Oh, of course I just had that umbrella with me, you know, the whole time. I am still in the dream. See, what is going on? Why did I leave my umbrella? My parents clearly told me I needed it. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, that was... Oh, that was almost to the moon one another time, eh? Yeah, anybody that's actually seen it, you, you know what I'm talking about. I am the twin. By, by the spoiler, a little bit late now. Oh, sorry. And I'll go back to my seat here. My little seaty do. Now, dude. All right, we're gonna have a little discussion here, okay? What I want you to do is not be a giant d bag. Okay, I'm sorry. I guess I can't even help myself. I fell asleep this time. Last time it was his fault. I'm not taking the. I'm taking the blame this time. I fell asleep. I never fall asleep in school. I'm that kid that doesn't even skip on senior skip day because, well, I probably don't even know about it most of the time. Oh, look, you got caught because you were being a stupid idiot because you were sleeping in class. And now the teacher hates you and is going to kick your butt. See? Yep. I, I told you she's going to kick your butt. She literally kicked your butt out of the classroom. You've got a, a heel print. you got the big piece and the little dot. Bam! Kicked you out of the classroom. Hmm. And there's still trees growing in these lockers. I would say that makes it real inconvenient for the kids that have to use those lockers because literally inside, you're not able to just like, you know, put your stuff in there. There's a, there's an entire tree trunk in there. You, you cannot, you cannot use. Oh, I have to jump everywhere now. Oh, I see. I don't have to jump, but I can jump. Wee! I want to jump on the flowers. I want to jump on the flowers. I want to smell them. I want to jump on them. Splish, splash. Splish, splash. I will take you by the hand. Like, for some reason, the music feels happy but sad at the same time. I guess that's kind of how rain feels because when you think about it, rain is like a renewal of life. That mushroom talk to you? Oh nope, never mind. The trees are we're just walking. That's all it was. We can, don't worry about it. We can just keep going home. The trees were just moving. Don't don't worry about it. 
Oh, and, and there was a, uh, there was a nasty honey badger that you're apparently going to go play with. No! Have you ever seen those honey badger videos? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, never mind. This kid's scarier than a honey badger. You... <laughs> Plus, he can, you know, walk, probably walk directly up to a bird that won't walk, run away from him. This is definitely not a dream anymore. Mm -mm. Walking trees and scared honey badgers. That's my reality. <sighs> Alright, now I'll go towards him. Little birdie. Tweet, tweet. Little bitty birdie. Little bitty birdie. I want to cut you, little bitty birdie. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, little birdie. Birdie, get away from that stream. Don't, you're going to drown. I'll push you in. You're going to drown. You better get away from there. Now, you know what? I'm going to kill you. I, I decided that I'm really hungry. And I want to kill you. No, 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 no. I, I want I, I want I, I want to go eat him. I want to go through the tall grass, capture a Pidgey, then kill that Pidgey with it. Because it's definitely a Pokemon game. Alright, fine, I'll leave. Let me just eat this mushroom I found on the ground. Oh, now you want my help, don't you? Oh, no! Oh, good. I actually didn't want him to die. I was gonna... Oh, holy crap! I'm jumping from island to island! It's because of all the squats that I did. Now, is that a pile of badger poop? That's what I want to know. Because <laughs> it sure as heck looks like a pile of badger poop. And I, I put the badger poop in my backpack. That's, that's good planning, kids. Make sure when you find poop... Immediately grab it with a with your entire fist, just like just, uh, grab all the poop and shove it in your backpack all at once. And if you don't have a backpack, just like tuck it in your shirt. And if you don't have a shirt on, just like store it in your mouth for a while, let it swish around, get it all nice and good. Then you can just spit the poop out of people later, or even save it. And it's like, yeah, this is the time that I fought a honey badger. Why is it still in your mouth three years later? I don't know. You're the one that fought the honey badger. <laughs> Whoa! Listen, listen, buddy. How are you running over that mushroom? That's what I want to know. I want to go home. I want to go home. These trees are freaking me out. This is such a good soundtrack. Like every once in a while, I just really have to listen to it because it's so good. And I guess, you know, I'm not going to walk that way. I want to cross the street. Hit me! Please! I want to die! Oh, wait. Oh, I see. That's why cars can't come and hit me. The trees are growing in the middle of the road. Of, uh, of course. I mean, <laughs> how dumb would I have to be to think that there'd be trees growing in the road where cars drive? Who is that? Can you please open up? I want to see my puppy dog. I want to see my little bitty baby Penelope. Little baby Penelope. Little Penelope? Why did it have me go knock? That didn't accomplish anything. You know, that's it. I'm going to go get lost in the woods. See? I'm just going to go get lost in the woods. I have no idea where I'm at anymore. And there's no possible way for me to find my way back, so nobody try to help me. Unless I go back this way, which I guess I could get back, but that's only a possibility, and I doubt it'll work, so we might as well just give up now. Okay, it did work. But even though it worked, it doesn't mean that it would have worked a second time, because we've just followed the path and the easily two-dimensional overview of our entire world. I guess I'm going home now. Because I'm the most boring person in the world, and all I do is dream about me going to school and getting liter uh, a foot literally shoved up my butt to go out the entire classroom. What? I'm just... I'm just... I'm just so confused. What's happening? Am I supposed to avoid him now? I mean, like... Why do I have to avoid him? Is this... I'm not a pet. 
I don't think I have a bird with me. Not since the last time I remember. I mean, all I have is a pile of badger poop, and that's not even a bird. That's not a bird either. That's the, that's just the badger poop. The, the badger poop at a... See, what happens with badger poop? It's a weird scientific study that they conduct thousands of times. They use thousands of millions of badgers. And what they did was uh, they tested different types of badger poop. And they decided in the end that badger poop actually has a brain of its own. Astounding, right? I know. Oh, God. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. <laughs> just, um, just, uh, yeah, sitting here with some, uh, non sentient badger poop. I promise you that much. <laughs> uh, just gonna go into my apartment and, uh, you know, just, just casually go in the door that was surrounded with uh, trees. Oh, your mom, dad, don't worry. All I have is badger poop. You don't have to worry about any dirty birds coming into our house. <laughs> All right, you don't have to worry anymore. All my parents are dead and my and the bird is stored away. Let's go see what's on the floor right here. Is it more badger poop? I really hope so. It's not, Never mind. All right, can I go down there now? Oh, I have to hang out my backpack. Sorry. Didn't realize that was so important to you. Okay, maybe I don't. What am I supposed to do? What? I'm going to go back into the hallway? No. Well, do you want me to flush the badger poop down the toilet? Why would you get rid of such valuable sentient badger poop? Turn on this light? I, what? What do you want from me? That was clearly not on this side of the wall. Ugh, anyways. Alright, let's get back to doing whatever we're doing. I'm gonna call you Jackson. You know, I haven't named you yet. Your name's gonna be Jackson. I like that name. Alright, what did our parents say? You'll never tell me what your parents said. Are they even your parents? Do you just have care guardians? Oh, your mom folded that up for you. Or, quote unquote, your mom. Because she's probably dead. Just saying, just saying, but she's probably dead. It's a, I mean, it's a fair assumption. You have never seen them for the past few days, and you've been dreaming, and you have a whole pile of letters from them. Like, you haven't seen them in months, and you've just been writing them to yourself in your sleep. And now you're gonna let the, uh, you're gonna let that delicious badger poop right out on the balcony. Yep, just nice little pile of, uh, badger poop. Oh my gosh, a badger poop turned into a bird. This is incredible, folks. This is what science has been waiting for. This is what they tested all the thousands of millions of badgers on to test that this bird would turn into poop. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. And then I'm going to eat you. Just come over here. Oh, you want some water? All right, I can get you some water. Actually, you know what? Before I go get him some water, I'm going to end the episode here because I think it's been running for a good enough amount of time. I'll check once I'm done. And uh, I don't know. I don't really know how long this game is, but I'll probably just keep making episodes about this length, because it seems like we got through some good psychological subconscious, dreamscapers, inception sort of crap. We got through a lot of that this episode. So, you know, don't want to get too much of that stuff. Oh, there's my pile of poop on the ground. Wait a minute, is that my backpack? The badger poop turned into my backpack, too! This is incredible! No, you don't even have to worry about carrying it. The badger poop will carry other badger poop. Regardless. Um... Yeah, I can only handle so much subconsciousness put into one episode. I'm probably going to record another one right after this. But, yep. So, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Cam the Man. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to uh, give it a like. I don't know. You can do whatever you want. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day.